Almost done, ma. Please hurry. Please hurry. Our customers are waiting. Please, Alex, our customers are waiting. Yeah, ma. I'm on the final stage now. Hurry, hurry. Oh. Ah. Linda, are you okay? What is it? Pepe. Ah, take it easy. Eh? Take your face away from the Pepe, okay? If me, I'm almost done. It's just to finish the rinsing of this meat then I'll start uh, I'll boil it steam Now, is that why you want to strangle him? Do you want to suffocate him? Eh, eh, Alex, stop this. This boy must pay. You must pay for this bit. Linda, it was a mistake. I've told you pardon already. Which mistake? You had a mistake, it was a mistake. What stupid mistake? Are you blind? What stupid girl were you talking to that, that, that I couldn't see? You must pay. My friend said I should wait for him here. And I don't have any money with me. Use the POS. Use the POS. Uh, uh, Linda, 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 calm down now. He just said he doesn't have any money. Listen, this boy is just talking nonsense. Even if Madame Divine should come here and say she leaves this boy, it's not possible. He must pay. I hate men. Okay, okay, Wrong boy. okay, calm down now. Just calm down now. Eh? Okay, leave him. Just leave him. You I'm not leaving him. him. I'm not leaving him. Madame Divine. That's how they go about looking for women to deceive. Madam. You don't have shishi and you're just gallivanting everywhere. You must be. Linda, you must live with it. Yes, yes. Was a whoop, was a whoop. Alex, but I told you to start out of this thing now. Have you seen now? Sorry, sorry. It's, it's, oh, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Uh, relax. Uh, I'll pay the money. Why will you pay? Mm. Mm. Like sorry, you. but I was only you to not, not to. Yeah, calm down. Calm down. Now. Calm down. I'll wait for you. Where is the money? It is in my bag. Give me the money. I now. have money in my bag. Eh? Just, just carry the tray. God has saved you. Deceiver. You don't have money and you're just walking everywhere. Just less men. Thank you, sir. It's, it's okay, man. It's just, it's okay. Keep going, man. Oh. Come to think of it, Linda. Why were you so aggressive towards that man? I don't understand. Wait. You were expecting me to pay for that plate with my own money? Or even wait for Madame Divine to subcharge me? Well, you were sounding as if you knew that man before. Like, have you met him somewhere? No, I don't know him. It's just that I hate men with passion. How can a man dress and be walking around, no money in his account, looking for a girl to deceive? Men? What do you mean by men? Eh? Um, yes, madam. Do you know the implication of fighting with a customer? Do you know? My broke our plate. <laughs> and even when you noticed he didn't have money to pay, why didn't you allow him to go? He would have let me handle this instead of taking matters into your hand. 
من بیزم سایی تو رو همونه کرد تو رو همونه کرد You are sorry Did you just say that you are sorry? That man that you disgraced is one of our regular customers in this place Do you want to drive my customers away from me? Sorry, sorry. 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 You are sorry. You are sorry. You are sorry. You are sorry. By the time you, you drive all my customers away, you stop being sorry. Where do they usually bring people like this from? What is even happening? Can you imagine me receiving strokes of gain from that Madame Divine or whatever? For what now? Honestly, I'm tired of this life. I don't think I can continue to do this. Honestly, God is going to punish this man that made me embark on this rubbish journey. Just, just look at me. Hey. Uh, oh, sorry, I kept you waiting. I had to go a little bit far to get the socks, especially to get something chill. I know you like it. This way. Thank you. Hey. You look disturbed. Are you okay? I'm fine. Are you sure? Alex, I'm just worried about what Madame Divine did. Can you imagine? I know how you feel. To be honest with you, you were wrong. Yes, you overreacted. We all know that customers are always right. But what you did out there? As if you knew that man before. Maybe you guys had issues in the past. I hate men with passion. Well, I am a man, myself inclusive. Every man that has balls in between his legs. Ha! Huh. Hold it. Stop generalizing things. You're referring to me as well. I've got balls. Alex, exclude yourself. You're not included. I'm even coming this close to you because I feel you're kind and well-mannered. Besides, we even work in the same place. But I just hate men. Listen, it's okay. I understand how you feel. I don't know why you're saying all this, but yeah, we are all entitled to our various opinions. So, it's okay. Have your drink. Thanks for the Fanta. You call me. Yes, then. Madam Lindy called and asked me to carry out some of her assignments, so that's your salary. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Joy, this one will be saying now you can they give the salary now. You know, be say you know where Madame Linda they hide they. You can't they hide them away from us. No one to tell us. Udugu. Eh? I can swear with my life, my generation to come. I don't know where she is. I don't yeah. know. You sure? 
Anyway. <laughs> okay. Thank you for the money. But if you know, tell us who. All the staff think that I know about Madame Linda's disappearance. I don't know. I don't know where she is. All I know is that when she needs me, she will call me and tell me what to do. Alex. Yeah. You said you wanted to discuss something with me that I should come to your house. Yes. For the past. Two months we've been working at Madame Divine's restaurant. I feel like I have come to know you more than before. Really? So what do you know about me? Mm -hmm. I know you to be a hardworking lady that is striving to survive. And I also know you are from a poor and loving family. A no-nonsense lady as well. And you're also contented with what you have. Is that all you know about me? If there is more, why don't you tell me? You forgot to add a school job out. Who was constantly raped by her uncle. And I have no one to help me. Well, all that doesn't matter. All in the past. You think so? Mm-hmm. So now you know everything about me. I need to know about you as well. I already told you about me. I don't remember. Maybe you can remind me. <sighs> it's all right. Let me retreat a little bit. My name is Alex. I am from Emo State. My parents are poor and loving as well. I work at Madame Divine's restaurant so <laughs> that I will be able to take care of myself, pay my bills, my rent, and send money back home for my parents for their upkeep. So, in a nutshell, you know me now. I see. We're actually on the same page. Hmm. Yeah, if you say so. Nice to meet you. I would have to leave now. Um, one more thing. I have gone far and near in searching for this love. All I got was fake love. All I got before was fake lover But now I have found my lover My heart is settled Oh, be my head My dreams has come true I never knew true love as is at all I never knew I love you I never knew What? I never believed there is true love You heard me you're sick and mad in the head. What? I never believe. Linda. I can find Linda. My soul made. I never knew. Linda. I never knew till I found it. I never believe that I can find my heart. I never knew. I never knew till I found it. I'm sorry for today. I know this man. Yes. I know this man very well. My, my eyes cannot deceive me. Sir. Yes, yes. Do you need anything? Uh, I'm okay, I'm okay. Um, the young man that brought food for me here, does he work here? So we have many workers that is working here. So who in particular are you talking about? He's looking fair. Fair? Yeah. Sir, I don't understand who you're talking about. But uh, anyone that brings food here 
It means that person is a worker. Ah. Sajid, are you sure you don't need anything? It's okay, it's okay. You are fine. I'm fine, thank you. So I should leave. Ah, it's okay. Thank you, I appreciate it. the restaurant like that. Alex, I'm talking to you. Answer me. I don't feel like talking to anyone. Okay, I'm sorry if the way I left your house the other day. Please, talk to me. I don't want to be disturbed. Alex, I'm worried the way you are. I don't want you to be like this. How is that your concern? But I just said I'm sorry. Considering taking my life. I have thought about it over and over again. And I see no reason, not even one reason for me to continue living in this miserable world. If there is any reason for me to continue living in the midst of this deceptive people around a world that is full of deceptive human beings human beings that cannot be trusted all the love and affection i have shown to these women yet all they could do is to remind me of how poor i am did I create myself? Did I? Alex, please, you need to stop. You can't possibly think of taking your life because of this reason you just stated. No! Taking your life or even thinking about it is a sin before God and man. You might be poor physically. But trust me, you're not poor in spirit. All you need is to be patient. Please. Patient? I should be patient. For how long? No woman has ever shown me genuine love. All fake. Deceptive and cunning. You mean no woman has ever loved you genuinely? I've gone far and near in searching for this love. All I got was fake lover. All I got I before was fake lover. But now, since no woman has ever loved you. Let me be the woman to love you from my heart. 
I never knew. I never knew till I found this. I never believed there is true love in this world. I never knew. I never knew. I never knew, never knew till I found it. I never believed I can find my soulmate. I never knew. I never knew. Have you watched all those movies? Yes, ma. Are you sure? Yes, ma'am. Sure, ma'am. Did you tidy the kitchen? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. It's not by standing and answering me, yes, ma'am. Have you done what I asked you to do? I've done it, ma'am. Good morning, sir. Welcome. Thank you. Oh, sorry, uh, food is not here for you. Oh, I know. I'm not here for food now. I just want to have a word with you. Oh, okay. Please sit. Thank you. He's the one that Alex was talking about now. Him? Yes, ma. So you are the same man that's after their family life in the village? Yes, ma, exactly. That's what Alex said? Yes. You mean? After somebody's life, God forbid. But that, that's by the way. Can I at least say him and talk? He's not around. You can come back some other time. It's okay, no problem. I'll, I'll go and uh, I'll come later. I'll <clears throat> All right. Yeah. All right, thank you. Hi. Look at him. Yes, ma'am. Looking so innocent. Exactly. He has a symphonic heart. Who be a jolonjo in the village? You mean that man I saw chasing you is actually after your life? Yes, and that of my parents. <gasps> Alex, you need to inform the police. Yes. Police? I don't have money to carry on with the case. And remember, before you win a case in this country, you must be the highest bidder. Also, I don't want to remind myself of the past. Let the past just remain there. That's okay, I understand, but I feel... Um, listen. I have been wanting to tell you this. I have been saving some money. Yes. I am considering quitting. Working at Madame Divine's restaurant. If you agree to marry me, I came up with the idea of you starting something lucrative with the money, you know, for you to have source of income at least. Then what are you going to do with your life if you give me the money? I'll continue hustling as a man. If you ask me, this whole marriage thing, it's happening so fast. Why don't we just take it a step at a time? You get to know my people and I get to know yours. And eventually, if this whole marriage thing works, then it's fine. I feel we're rushing things. If you say so, no problem at all. We have to travel to see my people and then yours. Okay. Mm. So, what did you cook? I got indomie. I have been searching, searching, searching for love. Now I have found love. Ma, please, I want to discuss something with you. I want to take permission from you to travel to the village and see my mother, to know how she's faring. But you can always call her and see No permission. True, ma, but I want to see her one on one. It makes me feel better now. Three days time, ma. Yes. Try and be back at my 
you can see Alex no longer works here. And we are short of workers. Make it a very place. You can move out. Thank you, ma. You came with your bag? Yes. Why? Oh, no. <laughs> I guess Madame Divine has sacked you. No. I actually took permission from her that I'll be traveling and we'll be back in some days. I came here because we'll be traveling tomorrow morning, so I don't want to waste your time. We can actually go from here. I can't remember telling you we are traveling tomorrow morning. Alex, no, we're traveling to your village tomorrow morning, if not for anything, to clear the rumor that you're a ghost. What? Me, a ghost? How? Yes, that's what everyone in the restaurant have been saying. Considering the facts, the way you even disappeared the moment you saw that man at the restaurant. That's what they've been saying. Everyone thinks he a ghost. Me disappeared? Yes, they all feel he a ghost. It's better we just stop the rumor. Let's go to your village. How am I a ghost? Disappeared? To where? Am I not the one here with you? This is flesh and blood. This is I... me. They didn't say that, they said. So prove them wrong. Let's go to your village tomorrow morning. Um, listen. I've heard you. But I'll let you know when we are traveling. Okay? No, Alex. We are traveling tomorrow morning, right? Like I said, I'll let you know. Okay, yeah. No problem. Searching, searching, searching for love. Now I have found love. Mama, look out for love. Papa, look out for love. Traveling. Good morning, Ma. Good morning. I wanted to travel, but I realized the money I saved wouldn't be enough for my going and coming, so I decided to save some more. Thank you, Ma. You're welcome. What are you looking for? I don't need a God I don't need a free. Has it been long? He's not been working in his promise. Nigwe called me to come fix the pump. I am a plumber. Shit, my son. I don't believe you are the one we are seeing here today. Well and alive. I am the one that I have to disguise myself. To see if I will be able to find someone who truly loves me. 
I resorted to my English name, Alex. No one knows me as Chidi. Ah. You should have defended me of the fault of most Come on, guys. Sincerely speaking, we all know you people would not in any way buy to such an idea. Chidi, we thought you were dead. I was so scared. We were so worried about you. So, this girl in question, have you confirmed she's your wife? Absolutely, ma'am. So she loves you? So why is she not here? Why didn't you bring her? So that we all can celebrate. Because... <sighs> I decided to come first, not to take you people by surprise. Whoa. I'll go over tomorrow and then I'll come with her. For you people to see her. No, no, that won't be necessary. I said it. You are the real son of your brother. I said that you are taking after me. You have done well, my son. He has my crown. <laughs> so you should have my head Nobody as well. Nobody will be disputing that. <laughs> Welcome, my son. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Dad. Thank you, Mom. Hey, my friend. Hey. You are sweeping. I'm sweeping, of course. I'm so happy. Our oh, prince, prince is finally back. Ah, I'm so happy. Ah. I'm super excited, you know. Ah, I'm so happy. Who is there? Ah, oh no, you are welcome. Hey! Hey, hey, hey. Uh, why is he, why is the prince that came back? Nah, he's inside with the king. Is that? Oh, God of our land. I know he must come back. I say he must come back. Let me go something for this. Please, please, please. Why did you travel without telling me? Despite you said we won't be traveling anymore. I haven't traveled yet. Then where have you been for the past three days? Your phone has been switched off, Alex. I told you, we are going to travel. But I don't have enough money for us to use for transportation. I had to go meet some of my friends, you know, borrow money from them. So, if that was the case, why didn't you tell me? So, at least we could match the money we have and it will certainly be enough. Um, it's okay. I have gotten the money. More than enough, as a matter of fact. So, when are we traveling? We need to take permission from Modern Divine for travel. Hmm. I don't think I will take permission from her again. I will just travel. What if she declines? I don't know. But you just have to because when you return from travel and she tells you she doesn't need your services anymore because you did not tell her you were traveling in the first place, what will you do? Mm, I will find something else to do. Maybe hog your water, fruits, or even start a petty trade as you suggested. Or even look for work some other place. Okay. Ah, <laughs> oh, wow. You are such an amazing soul. One in a million. Exceptionally awesome. I love you. I love you. 
you too. I have been searching, searching, searching for love. Now I have found love. Mama, I'm looking for love. Papa, I'm looking for love. Is this where he's stopping us? Yes. I need to go and pray. He says, what are we doing here? Um, I, I came to get our house key. My father is here, actually. They are judging a case in the king's palace. Okay? Let's just go in. I get the keys from him, then we leave. Um, sorry. Yeah, you said them um, five or uh, fifty, right? I have got far and near, searching for this love. All I got was fake love. All I got before. Are you sure I can get it? No, it's too inside. I have okay. found my love. My heart is settled. But you may have been My dreams has come true. Welcome, my face. Welcome, my friend. May you live long. Who are you? Tell me who you are, or you will never set your eyes on me again. Hey. It's a long story. Cut it short. I disguised myself just to find that special woman that truly loves me in all sincerity. Why did you choose me? Because you are the only one that truly loves me for who I am and not for what you will get. Listen, I went through a series of heartbreaks in the hands of my exes. They were all with me because of what they can get and not for who I am. I was traumatized. I felt so disappointed in myself. I came up with the idea of going out there to work in that restaurant just to make myself look like a struggling young man. My son, my, my friend, Dad, brought out for you and mom. But then, why are you standing outside? Let's go inside. I have been searching. Searching, searching for love. Now I have found love. Mama, I'm looking for love. Papa, I'm looking for love. I never knew. 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 I never knew.
Good evening. Who comes from you? Good evening. Who is she? Remember the girl I told you about? My wife to be. She's the one. Your wife to be? In this your world, you're a prince. On the next one, you will come as a pauper. And this thing will be your wife. Hey, mom. She is not a thing. Her name is Linda. And that is the name of a snake. Ha ha. You don't, you don't know? Lola, Lola, please sit. Sit. Sit down. Let us know if he's really doing this with his right eyes or senses. Of course he's not doing it with his right eyes. How can you go all out there to bring this thing in her buluku? She's not even properly dressed to come to the palace. Madam, out. Hey. Out! Get out! What are you doing? Mom, Go. mom, mom, please stop it. Linda! Mom! Did you hear her name? They said Linda is the snake. No, 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 mom. That's so a snake! Will... Mom, I will not accept that. Sit down. Sit down. Nothing on this earth will come between Linda and I. And that is the honest truth. Listen to me. I have it in mind to tell you this. <sighs> but I want you to live first. But your mother was faster. How can you? How could you bring her into this palace? Don't you know that you're a prince? You represent a nation, a kingdom. You don't just bring anything to the palace in the name of marriage. Mom, Dad, you all witnessed the series of heartbreaks I experienced in the hands of those materialistic and deceitful girls out there. They were all with me because of what they get from me and not because of who I am. And then I disguised myself. I, I disguised myself to be a struggling young man just to find someone who truly loves me. And God helped me to find Linda. And here you people are going against the choice that I have made after the whole trauma, the whole paints. And that is the Linda. Yes. And now you people are kicking against her. That means you don't want my happiness, Dad. Mom, you don't want my happiness. After all, I went through out there. Once I step out there and I don't see Linda, consider me. Gone forever. What? Son? Linda! Son? Linda! Chedi, does that mean he won't come back again? He just found a wife. Allow him to be with her. Thank you for not believing in the afternoon. Perhaps I wouldn't have been able to and the other heart ache this time. You can't blame me. I was pushed. And I'm sure you would do the same if you were in my shoes. I went through a lot in the hands of those my deceits for materialistic access. <laughs> they were just after what they can get from me. None of them bothered about my love and affection for them. I went through hell. Let's go. Go where? Where we are supposed to go to. <laughs> You're not going anywhere with me. Just give me the money. I can take care of myself. Shama. That's my name. My friend, give me the money. You're wasting my time. <laughs> okay. 
how much are we talking about? What? How dare you drag money from my hands? <laughs> of course I dragged the money from you. You had this money. Why not spend it when you are alive? Listen, I have tolerated your ill-mannered attitude for too long. It has to stop. I just started. What? Did you just walk out on me? Shoma! Shoma! Oh. Hmm. What is the problem, Jin? I am fine, Dad. You are not fine. I know my son when I see him. Now tell me what's troubling my prince. It is Rebecca. How do you mean Rebecca? What? Has Rebecca done? I have always trusted her, Dad. I know. Do you know that Rebecca has been cheating on me? No. No, son. Rebecca is not sort of person. I don't want you to listen to rumors and gossips. That allowed her to take her away from you. Dad, it is not a rumor. Neither is it a gossip. I got the information that Rebecca was with another man in a hotel. And then I took it upon myself to go see with my two eyes. And guess what I saw, Dad? Rebecca was with this man on the bed, naked. What? No, that's unacceptable. Rebecca! Listen, come here. Dad, come. Come, son, come. Respect. This is disheartening, Dad. Why are these girls like this? I am so heartbroken. Listen, son, son, take it easy. Just take it easy. Don't take it too far. Hmm? She's not your, definitely she's not your own. None of these girls deserve my love. They are not worthy of my affection. I am done, Dad. I am done with each and every one of them. Calm down. Calm down, girl. Take it easy. What is all this? Why are all these girls like this? The one you feel you trust cannot be trusted. What they need is money. Money is all they want. When is my son going to get his own woman? What is this guy been siphoning him? <laughs> wow. You mean you actually went through all this in the hands of women? Wow. Yes. <laughs> Even more. But I am happy to have someone like you by my side. The feeling is mutual. There is something special about you. <sighs> Tell me. Each time I tell you about the series of heartbreaks I experienced in the hands of those my materialistic and deceitful exes. I always noticed this mix reactions on your face. 
Here um, we go again. And then I'm beginning to wonder. Hope you are not going to disappoint me like those other women. Because if you do, I don't think I will ever survive it. No, I won't. Are you sure? Yes. Um, come on, Alex. We need to sleep because we're leaving first thing tomorrow morning. It's getting late. It's all right. But I want my parents to apologize to you for using those demeaning words on you, my wife, to be. <laughs> Smiling again. Smiling as usual. Mm. Let's sleep. Good night. We are leaving that. So we are. Where we came from. Are you going with her? She, she knows her way. She can find her way back. She a baby. Hey, don't you know where you came from? Take it easy. You can still go back to where you came from. I said take it easy. You heard me now. I said we are leaving. Sam. Sam. Put off your shoes. Sit down. I gave you my own and sit down. Sit! Why who's that part of you? My daughter. We are sorry for what happened yesterday. You know? What you don't know is bigger than. My son, the prince, has been insisting that he must marry you. And we as his parents has no option than to allow him and give him our blessings. Thank you, Dad. Thank you, Highness. In our tradition, we insist to know the family where we are plucking the fruit. So, where are you from? Who is your father? And what do you do for a living? She already told me everything. We need to hear from her. That's a mouth she used to tell you. Let her use the same mouth and tell us what she told you. Hey, mom. Obviously, she's becoming emotional. And that's because she only speaks about her background at her convenient time. Oh, even if it's after one year, we'll keep waiting. Not that, Mom. But we just have to. Please. Alex. Please, I'm sorry. What? Your Highness, the truth has to be told. I just wanna be loved. I just wanna be loved. Yeah. That is all I want right now. I just... What truth? What are you talking about? Your Highness, my name is Linda Ofebu. I am from Akamoe, 
in the Ziago local government of Enugu State. My father is the owner of Ofebu Shipping Company and Ofebu Holdings PLC, Nest Level Hotel and Resort, and many more. What? Linda? What, what are you talking about? My God. We used to be friends. A favorite travel agency is always prepare my documents whenever I'm traveling to abroad. They make my journey so easy. We've been doing business together for a long time. But I heard that he's dead now. Yes, Your Highness. And that shall never end. What? He's my father and I'm his only child. But he handed over all his businesses to me. I'm now in charge. Alex, please, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. You lied to me. Why? Why would you have to hide your true identity? Alex, we are both on the same page. I'm sorry I had to disguise to find true love. It was just unfortunate that men who were coming to me were cool diggers. They were just after my money. I'm glad I found you. <sighs> Alex, you won my heart. And I promise to forever be submissive to you for the rest of my life. I'm sorry. It's okay. It's okay. After all, we are on the same page. I hid my own identity from you just to know if you truly love me as well. Not knowing you went through the same heartbreaks from your exes. It's all right. I promise to always be by your side. Nothing. I mean, nothing, not even in the afterlife. <clears throat> Would anything come between us? I love you. My love. I love you so much. I love you more. I know you do. Please, I'm sorry for the way I embarrassed you. And I'm so sorry. I, I understand my pain. In situations like this, it's actually inevitable. I understand. In this whole thing, I learned one lesson. To respect everybody. Not to undermine anybody based on circumstances or status. I'm sorry. Alex, I'm truly sorry. You know, this whole thing reminds me why I keep laughing each time you tell me how fake women have been to you. I'm glad we're here now. I love you. I love you too. And I will always love you. Till the end of time. I love you. I just wanna be loved. I just wanna be loved. That is all I want right now. I just want someone once I'm around me. I 
just wanna be loved. I just wanna be loved. This love is hard to find. Love is hard to find. Honey, are you set? Yes, my darling. My love, you're going to accompany me to the office tomorrow. I need to check on my staff, at least to know how they're faring. Okay. But wait a minute. Are you telling me you left all the responsibilities to one of your staff or this wife? <laughs> yes. What? Joy is very capable and well experienced. You heard me talk to her yesterday. Yeah. They actually believed I was missing and they were about to report to the police. <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine. But the truth be told, you are indeed a smart angel. <laughs> <laughs> I admire your wisdom, honestly. Thank you, honey. So, what next? Are you going to leave your property in the room mm. while you were working for Madame Divine? I already told my neighbor, Moses, to take everything in that room. I don't need them. Hmm. This is Chidi, and that was Alex. <laughs> <laughs> Guess what, honey? Oh, not again. You know I am not good at guessing. Just try. You never can tell. Hmm. No, I won't. I don't want to fall my head. <laughs> <laughs> Just tell me what is it. I love you. <sighs> <laughs> you actually thought something else happened, right? Yes, yes. And I love you too. I... I said I love you because... I mean it from the deepest part of my heart. And I will always love you for the rest of my life. My love. I'm glad I met you. Thank you for loving me regardless. Thank you too. <laughs> I'm glad I met you. Honey, we are running this. We need oh. to leave now. Woo! Oh, that's true. Your Highness, I am very happy for our dear friends. Eh? I told you, Oyanata, I know our crown prince must come back to this palace. You are right, brother. Eh? I said it. You are right. <laughs> that is why I summoned you. <laughs> yes. I want you to summon all the council of elders so that you people should go to our in laws and fix a date for wow. the marriage rights. Wow. <laughs> yes. uh, Your Highness, when do you think? The date will be fixed. Just no, it has to be between us and our in-laws. So anytime they choose, and you people agree with them, I don't want it to be prolonged. <laughs> Let it be soon. Consider it done, okay. guys. <laughs> Consider it done. <laughs> I know that our face must come back. Uh, I'm a neighbor, no, 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 I have been searching, searching, searching for love. Now I have found love. No more care for love. No more care for love. Oh my God. Linda. Alex. So you two disguised yourselves all this while? What a mystery. Uh, madam. Yes. We are here to invite you to our royal wedding. And to also say very big thank you for all you are indeed a wonderful woman. Thank you. You're welcome. 
your wedding. Did I hear that right? Your wedding, both of you. We will close this shop. We will close everywhere. In fact, no business that day. I will gather all my friends. I will make sure that my workers, your former friends, my former workers are there. Bring out that day. It's for you. Congratulations. I'm happy for you. <laughs> Linda. Linda. Congratulations. Alex. Congratulations. Um, please, why don't we go inside? Okay. Yes. Has come true. 